Good morning, everybody. This is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful. Thank you for being here. We're going to have some fun, maybe. Who knows? I hope so. Uh, mostly I do a channel about going to the food bank. I share my hauls and then I try to show you throughout the week um, food, meals, snacks, whatever that I have made using my food bank supplies. And what I really want to do with this channel is just really encourage you. If you need to go to food bank, I want you to go. Okay. You take a look at what's going on in your life and you decide, could I benefit from the food bank? Maybe going to the food bank is a temporary thing. Maybe you have a car repair where the repair costs are really high and you have to choose between doing that car repair and buying groceries for a month. If that's the case, you do the car repair and you go to the food bank and get a lot of your food um, from the food bank and then make the most of it. You can do it. Some of you, it might be that you go every week. Maybe you're a senior. I'm a senior, my husband's a senior, my little sweet grandma is a senior senior. So maybe you're a senior on a tight budget and you have to limit the things that you can shop for. So going to the food bank can be a place where you go and get your staples and then you can cut down your shopping list to accommodate just getting the extra ingredients that you need to make the things that the food bank helped you with. Okay, so if you're a new viewer, Thank you so much for popping in. I hope you enjoy this. If you are a return viewer, oh, people, you are brave. You are fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much for liking it enough to come back a second time. Of course, you can like and subscribe. Right now, I'm able to read all the comments. I do try to respond to them. If you have never been to Food Bank and you're going to go for the first time, I want you to reach out to me and let me know that you're going or let me know that you've just come back. Okay. I will be so proud of you. All right. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I see that awful light in the background. Let me see if I can check that. <laughs> okay. That's a little bit better. So I am a lot of things. I am a lot of things, people. I have a lot of life experience, but one thing I am not is I am not a professional video maker for YouTube. I can barely work my own phone. My grandsons have to help me all the time figure things out. So if you're looking for beautiful Academy Award winning videos, you are not going to get that here. There are so many others out there who do food bank hauls though, who do beautiful videos. If that's what you're looking for, honey, they are out there. So go find them. Find a place where you're comfortable and then stick with it. There's no reason why you can't watch more than one. We all have different approaches. Now, having put that aside, I am ambitious today. My house is clean. My chores are done. My two little birds, Eloise and Betty Jan, who are right across this kitchen counter from me are behaving themselves. Right now they're sitting on a tea towel on a TV table and uh, they're perfectly good. Harry is right outside the back door here. For those of you who are new, Harry is a big rooster that my grandma hand raised and uh, now he comes into the house at will. It is pouring rain. So those are the things that you're gonna hear. So for my ambitions today, we are going to do three things. Now I will not probably be able to go through all three of them with you. My camera doesn't hold that much space and I just don't know if I can do it. This is one thing that I do with my food bank groceries. I have some sourdough starter right there. Her name is Baby and I've had Baby for four years, but right now I feed Baby on my food bank flour and then I make sourdough bread. When I have my Dutch oven, which I do not have right now, it is in New Mexico, I make a uh, baby sourdough bread in my Dutch oven and it is, oh my God, it's to die for. It's so good, people. Here, I just bake it in a loaf pan, but this is just water and flour. And right now, all of my flour for this starter, the starter's name is Baby, by the way. I name things, I know, very scary. 
Anyway, so I use my flour to maintain my starter and then I make my own bread. My bread recipe is starter, flour, water, salt, and when I feel like cheating, I add a packet of yeast. And that's what I do when I make my loaf bread because I don't have my Dutch oven. When I get my things, I will make the most beautiful loaf of bread for you guys. We'll butter it, it'll be so yummy, it'll be great. Okay, so this is one thing, right? I'm gonna make this bread today, if she rises more than she has already. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make grandma, who assured me this morning that she had been very good for the week. <laughs> she has people she's lovely and I tease a lot about grandma grandma is um, truly one of the most beautiful people I have ever known in my whole life and so today I went in and asked her have you been good kind of good maybe good not so good or really good she said she'd been really good and of course she was but it doesn't matter even if she'd only been kind of good or not good at all I'm still gonna do this for her so if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have gotten some things in the last couple of weeks. Having put them all together today, I have everything it takes to make a key lime pie. And all of it except for one ingredient is food bank. So here it is. I have a box of honey graham crackers. It's kind of beat up. It's seen better days. It's been abused on the playground. It'll make graham cracker crumbs. With those graham cracker crumbs, I have food bank butter so I can make a crust. All right. I got a pie a couple weeks ago. I saved the pie tin because I don't have hardly any kitchen stuff. I can make a pie in my second use of a pie tin. The filling will call for eggs. Guess what, people? I have food bank eggs. The recipe is going to call for Greek yogurt. I have vanilla Greek yogurt. Woohoo! Woohoo! The recipe is going to call for oh, two items I had are not food bank. Uh, I have gotten this before at Food Bank, but I think this one is mine. I think I used my other one. In fact, I did. I used my other one uh, earlier this week. This is mine. Sweetened condensed milk. So this is about, what, $1.40 maybe at Walmart. I don't know for sure. And then the next item that is mine is my homemade vanilla in my little spiced rum bottle. Hmm. Deanna, do you drink that spiced rum? I'm not gonna say. Okay, so I'm gonna make grandma a key lime pie. It's super easy. If I get a chance to film it, I will. However, I will write the recipe here. I know it seems unfair to write the recipe and not show you, but I don't know if I have enough storage room. Now, oh, and the limes, people. Do you remember that I got a great big bag of limes about two or three weeks ago? I still have a couple in the refrigerator, but this is enough to juice for a key lime pie. I think I need a half a cup of fresh lime juice for key lime pie. Now, I don't know if those are key limes. I really don't. I don't really care. I have made these pie many times with these kind of limes, and it's been absolutely perfect. But we're going to call it key lime pie because it's fancy. It's fancy. This girl wants to be fancy today. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some corn muffin mix. Now that's not something that I normally do, but I'm going to do it, whoops, will that stay? Mm, maybe. I'm gonna make some corn muffin mix because I have been making cornbread and adding my cowboy candy, which is uh, like sugared jalapenos in a sauce, you cook it and then you water bath it and it's to die for. I have been putting that in my cornbread and everybody I make it for just loses their mind. So I wanna make that a little bit easier for me so I have a mix on hand and all I have to do is, you know, mix it up. Now, I'm gonna make a confession, all right? Your girl tried to do this for you yesterday, all right? Mm-hmm, I gotta step off camera. I was so proud of myself.
help everybody. I mixed up four pint size worth of cornbread mixes and each one of those mixes will make a batch of muffins or a batch of cornbread. I'll put all those details in the thing. Looks good, right? Okay. The problem is I got busy chit chatting with you guys. I'm not blaming you. Huh. I'm just saying, you know, girl can forget things. And instead of using a fourth of a cup of baking powder, I used a half cup because that was the measuring cup that I was working with and I just made a mistake. So this is not okay. So today <laughs> I'm going to make a new batch with no baking powder in it. Then I'm going to combine both batches. They should be perfect. And then I'll have a lot of cornbread mix in my cupboards. Now I'm going to put that recipe in detail in the bottom because I don't want you to get confused about what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. But let's go over the cornbread ingredients. To make the mix, and the mix makes four pint-sized jars. If you have jars, great. If you don't, stick it in a Ziploc baggie, throw it in your freezer if you have room, or keep it on your counter or in your cupboard space for, I would say, try to eat it in the next six or seven months. Maybe, I bet it lasts longer than that, but that might be the goal. So the cornbread, let's talk about that. Uh, I think three food banks ago, I got this, which I have never had before, all right? I think it's called Masa Harina. And um, one of you commented to me that I should make cornbread out of this, and I followed your advice. Screwed it up, but I followed your advice. Anyway, we can fix it today. So this is food bank item. It also calls for flour, and as you know, I have a Tupperware of flour right here that is food bank. I think I got this in a five pound bag, I think. And then it's also gonna call for salt. Salt is mine. And then it's gonna call for baking powder, and the baking powder is mine. Are we touching this baking powder today? No, we are not. In fact, let me put it far, far away. Okay, far, far away. I'm going to go off camera. Way far away. Girl can't make that same mistake twice. Now, that's all the ingredients. Four ingredients that go into the dry mix. Super easy, and I'm going to do that for you right here. Once you have the mix, what you're going to use when you mix it up is you are going to use two cups of your mix, which is exactly what fits in a pint jar. And my notes are right here, so I'm just going to read them to you. To make it, you need one cup of buttermilk. And I have, okay, let me just pull out two things. I have buttermilk dry powder, just something I have in my pantry. So I'll use this. But if you're trying to rely on food bank items, people use this, right? It's not going to affect your cornbread. People are not going to know that you use this milk instead of buttermilk. If you have a lemon or a little bottle of lemon juice that has a couple tablespoons at the bottom, you can take your milk and a tablespoon of lemon and you can make your own buttermilk. Please look up the exact measurements. I don't know if it's a tablespoon or not. Okay, so boom, you can get this at the food bank pretty regularly. Or you might get a half gallon of real milk, or maybe they have a little quart of buttermilk. I've seen that before at the food bank. The next thing is you're gonna add to it is an egg. Food bank eggs, baby, food bank eggs. And then it calls for a quarter cup of honey, but I don't use honey on mixes. If I want honey, I wanna put it on top of my piece of cornbread where I can really enjoy it. And then the last thing it called for was um, four tablespoons of melted butter. And for me, I got that at Food Bank. So everything that it calls for, I can use. Now I modified this recipe a little bit and I added half a cup of sugar to my master mix because I did not want to be using honey in my mix. I have honey. Yes, I do. <laughs> but I want to put it in my tea or I want to eat it on top of something. I don't want to put it in a mix. 
All right. So let's go ahead and get through that. I'm going to have to shut you off here because can you hear that? That is Eloise. And I'm going to put them in their little spot over here while I can cook. All right. I'll be right back. You stay where you are. Don't you go anywhere. You don't have anything better to do than dishes and laundry. <gasps> Super Bowl. Unless you're watching Super Bowl. I can't compete with Super Bowl people. Go watch the Super Bowl. All right, here's the gratuitous shot of Betty Jan and Eloise, and I'm gonna wash my hands, people. I'm gonna put them in their kennel, and then I'm gonna wash my hands, okay? I'm gonna wash my hands. Don't worry about me, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right. All right, I'm back. I uh, wanted to cover up some little flabby for you, but please, I'm not going to. This is just who I am. All right. And it's hot in my kitchen, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I have washed my hands, perfectly clean and tidy, and we're ready to do this. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add four cups of flour to this bowl. And I don't know if you wanna see me or you wanna see the food, but let's put, the, let's put that down right there, okay? Then we have the bowl of shame behind me. All right, so I'm using a half cup, so I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> excuse me, seven, and we're going to call that eight. Now I have some more flour under the counter, and that, I think, is my flour. Okay, so we have four cups of flour, and now we're going to add four cups of the uh, masa harina. So that's going to be eight. So you guys are going to count it out with me, all right, because I don't want two colossal cornbread mixes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. and eight all right so far so good so far so good people look at that right into the sink all right two teaspoons of salt you know i don't measure when i don't have to so that's my hand that's about two teaspoons right there and then if this were not me trying to fix a mistake i made what did i do with my baking powder Hmm. Okay, if that were, is it up here? All right, never mind. I would put in a quarter cup of baking powder in here. Since I'm using my one half measurement, I would put in half, half of one of these uh, baking powder in here. So psh, let's just pretend we did it and I made no mistakes. That my friend, oh, and I wanna add some sugar. I wanna add some sugar. Like I said, I'm not gonna use the honey in this recipe. I have some, but I'm not using it here. I'm going to use a half cup of sugar. It's a little lumpy, so I'll be um, crushing that with my fingers. Some of the big ones. Remember, I washed my hands, people. Wash my hands. Okay. All right. Okay, that's it. So now I'm just going to mix this up and I'm just going to use my hands. Just going to get that all mixed up, kind of get those big sugar clumpies broken up. And then we're going to mix it with my big bowl. And then I'm going to jar up four cans and then off camera I'll do the other four. Are you guys with me so far or was this a little bit confusing? I'm gonna put it all nice and neat in my description. I'll link uh, the website where I found it at. I think it was on, actually, 
Do I have it? It was originally linked to a five heart home.com and then another YouTube on faith and arrow homestead. I love that one. Um, she used it and she referenced it back to five heart home. So I'm going to put both of those references down there and then you guys can go and, um, make this go check out their website, especially if you decide to make their cornbread. Okay. All right. Okay, I will mix this up, get the two things combined, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I have mixed this up thoroughly. I spent quite a bit of time making sure everything was equally distributed. I decided to put one full batch, that's eight cups of uh, this mix in a baggie, and I will use that later because I don't want to use up all of my jars, but I have 14 half cups. So this is the 15th half cup. And this is the 16th half cup, which means there's eight cups of cornbread in here. And I just wrote a note that says use two cups to make a batch. And I'm going to toss this um, in my cupboard for now. When I have more freezer space, I'll add it to the freezer. I'll be using this first and what's in my jar second. So I'm just going to pop that down here. Ooh, that's four times I'm going to make cornbread that I don't have to do everything to get it on the table. Now, here is the bowl of what remains of everything all nice and tidy. So I'm going to fill two jars, but I need to grab one more thing. Plus, I needed to open a window. It's hot. So we're going to add two cups, and since I have done this before, I know that it's gonna be a little bit more than two cups because I added that half a cup of sugar. Okay, so four of these per jar, two, three, and four. That's how easy that is. Shake it down. have a little bit of room and because I made this before I know that I'm going to add a little bit extra because of the sugar that I added there we go and there you have it you have a cornbread mix on your pantry shelf so that when you want to make it it's like having Jiffy all right it's like having Jiffy or maybe even another nicer brand of pre-made mix I'll do one more for you I don't think you need to see me do all four and then we'll bake it and give it a taste test. One, two, three, come on, and four. I'm going to shake that down a little bit. like it got enough we'll just add a little bit two okay I'm going to clean up my mess I'm going to fill these other two jars and then I'm going to bring you back for a taste test and we'll see what we think okay all right I'll be back you better be back too oh that's my camera that likes to click off at the two minute mark I just love my life all right let's try it Mm. Mm hmm. That's good. Now the cornbread is light and fluffy. Because I added sugar, it has a nice little hint of sweetness, which is how I like my cornbread. If you don't like your cornbread that way, don't put in the sugar. Don't use the honey. You'll be all right. Okay, my glasses are sliding down my nose. There is just a tiny, tiny bit of heat with these um, cowboy candy jalapenos, and that makes it so good. Even grandma can eat these. These are nice. Mm. Mm. 
that's good okay I'm going to leave you here I will see if I have enough uh, storage space to film the pie I don't know if I will or not so if you don't see it then you know I did not have enough storage all right you guys have a great afternoon I may or may not be back bye bye Hi. All right. I don't have a lot of storage space, so I'm going to try to do this in very quick snippets. Really, all I want to do is demonstrate to you that even if you are relying heavily on food bank uh, items, you can make some glorious things. Sometimes it just works out that way, and when it does, whew, it's a party. Okay, so the key lime pie recipe that I use is from a website called once upon a time uh once upon a chef.com once upon a chef.com and the author of the recipe her name is jen siegel now i variated a little bit from what i did to her recipe so i'm using her recipe as inspiration i'm going to include a link to that and if you want to make key lime pie you can use the one that i used uh here or you can find your own that works for you. I've noticed that there's a bunch of different recipes. One of them had macadamia nuts in the crust. Sounds delicious, but I don't have macadamia nuts. One of them used egg yolks instead of Greek yogurt. So find a recipe that has most of the ingredients that you have and use that one. So all I'm going to do is show you quickly what I've done. Here are my graham cracker crumbs this recipe called for one and a half cup called for some brown sugar got some brown sugar in there four tablespoons of melted butter right here this was food bank item the graham crackers were food bank item and the brown sugar was food bank item though that will be the last of my brown sugar from the food bank unless I get more and then I believe it called for a little bit of salt which I already tossed in there so I'm going to grind this up and I'm going to make a pie crust. You don't need to watch me do that. I'll show you the finished product. Again, I'm racing against storage time. Storage space. <laughs> storage space. And we are off to a pretty good start. I don't know what that is. Actually, I'm going to pull this out. And I have a little bit of extra crumb over here. I'm just going to fill in that spot. That was just a big piece of graham cracker that didn't get completely worked in. Okay, I can live with that, right? Graham cracker crust. Graham crackers, butter, and brown sugar, all from food bank. Salt was mine. It's going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. While it does that, I'm going to gather the ingredients for the filling. Okay. Ask me how much fun I had juicing those limes. Mm-hmm. I did not have fun. You do things for love, right? When you love your grandma, you're willing to juice limes with a crappy little lime juicer. Okay, so the limes were food bank. The Greek yogurt is food bank. This is mine. And actually, the recipe called for two cans. So luckily, I had a second can. Every once in a while, I see this food bank, but not very often. So if you see them, get them while you can. Keep them on your shelves until you have everything you need to make, the one thing that you want to make. Or if you have everything else but this and your budget allows for you to buy a can or two cans to make this pie, go ahead and do it. All right, so my pie is out of the oven. This is my yogurt and lime juice. And what else is in here? Two cans of sweetened condensed milk. And here is my lime zest. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm gonna mix this up and fill the pie. And I will show that to you before I stick it in the oven. Okay? All right, hang in there. And we're back. There is my pie crust. It shrunk down a little bit, but that's okay. Here is my filling. So I'm going to add my filling and it looks like I have a way more filling than I can use here. So if I do, I'm going to make a whole nother pie 
and my renters can share it. Let's, oh no, I won't have enough. Oh, I thought I was going to have plenty of extra here. Okay. And there it is. I think this just goes into the oven for 15 minutes at 350. I might be able to make some little key lime tarts. We'll see. All right, that's all there is to that. Nothing fancy, people. Like I said, the yogurt, the limes, and the lime zest was all food bank. The condensed milk was mine. So mostly a food bank pie. All right, I'm going to pop it in the oven for 15 minutes, and I'm going to see what I can do with this. All right, we scraped the bottom of the bowl. I had enough graham cracker crust crumbs and enough filling crumb to do five little tartlets. Now I have never done this before. My pie pan at home is big enough to accommodate this recipe. I don't know if it'll work or not. So my pie comes out in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it cool, put it in the refrigerator and grandma will have it for dessert tonight and I will take a picture of that, okay? All right, it has been fabulous having you guys along for the ride. I don't know if I'll come back and add to this clip or not, so let me say it here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time. I hope you guys did too. I hope you will try either this key lime recipe or the cornbread muffin mix. Um, if you have a jar of sourdough starter on your counter, let me know. I always like to know that stuff. All right, if you've gone to the food bank and you've gotten a couple ingredients and you feel like you've made something amazing with your ingredients, uh, give me a comment and let me know what you did. I would love to hear how that's working out for you. All right, you guys, go enjoy your day. I don't know. I'm looking at the TV, but I don't have Super Bowl on. Mm -mm. This girl's not a Super Bowl fan. Uh, if I had to root for a team, I'll go with San Francisco. I spent many happy years. Um, living right outside of Sacramento. Well, I lived in Sacramento, but I used to go to San Francisco all the time. I loved it. Okay, you guys have a great day. I may or may not be back. Okay, so I'm going to say ta-ta to you now. Ta-ta. And I will maybe see you again in this clip. <laughs>